the, the, the last part in this uh, uh, modality is to uh, estimate uh, like a CMR which is a, a comparative modality ratio so we've got different steps that can be taken number one is uh, you must be able to calculate uh, the proportion uh, the proportion uh, of each uh, total uh, population uh, of the country uh, but uh, this time in three uh, successive in three successive census years uh, for example the initial year can be zero and the the, the other year can be uh, like uh, five or can be 10 or it can be 20 so this is uh, can be year x year 2x year 3x depending on what you want in that particular year now so in number two when you are able to cut to, to determine the pop, uh, population from three level intervals uh, then for each interval maybe uh, for example 10 year you must be able to identify the weight um, uh, which is uh, an average uh, an average uh, proportion um, uh, which is uh, uh, in the initial year and the, uh, the, uh, and the proportion for that year and the uh, proportion for that subsequent year so in this case uh, this weight WA is denoted by half bracket uh, p a over uh, p uh, plus uh, p a year one i mean interval one which could be like uh, this uh, over uh, p one and then uh, this gives you uh, some values then the next interval again it can be for interval uh, this is one for the weight for year two which can be half uh, which is uh, multiplied by p a uh, over p uh, and again plus population two over a over population two so in this case you have got uh, uh, the uh, the weights for the two population so if you can look at this uh, uh, you should be able to go to the book and then determine what are the values of p what are the the values of p1 and what are the what are the value of p a1 like p a1 is the age specific uh, uh, mean mortality and uh, this uh, for year one and this is age specific um, uh, modality for year uh, for year zero and this one is total population year zero and this is total population for year one so it's it applies the same in this other uh, process having done that then number three is uh, you must be able now to calculate uh, the you must be able now to uh, uh, to calculate age specific uh, death rate for the successive interval uh, so you can calculate number three uh, is like you calculate uh, age uh, specific um, um, uh, uh, death mortality uh, for a uh, specific interval so this you must be able to calculate so now you can calculate that one for year zero and you can calculate uh, which is given by big m and for year for interval number one which is uh, which can be given by m a one and for interval number two which can be given by m a two respectively and then what happens is that uh, the rest now is to multiply uh, the uh, uh, with the weights so that you can determine uh, the values so number four uh, is uh, now th th that is number four number three uh, number four uh, I mean number five uh, is uh, now to multiply the weights uh, so you multiply uh, the weights uh, 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 which is WA uh, by uh, the modality so that uh, by age specific modality and then you sum 
the, the, the values. So normally what you do is you can calculate WA multiplied by uh, MA and then you can be able to sum the value so that you can get uh, the corresponding value. And then thereafter, you can be able again to multiply the weight WA multiplied by capital A and then you sum. And why do we do this? You are now trying to get the standardized values. And when, when you get the sum, then these are the ones that you can now use to calculate uh, CMR, which is given by uh, the formula. CMR is given by the formula W A small m A over summation of W A over capital M A. So this gives us the, the equation. This gives us the equation. So what I want you to do is uh, to look at a at, uh, at table uh, 6.7, I mean 6.5, and uh, try uh, to actually understand uh, the processes that they use to calculate uh, CMR in that context. Having done that, then I want you, each one of you now, as an exercise to actually come in full swim and then um, solve uh, uh, problems number one up to problems number 10 in this section. Now, I want you to do this, but uh, if you feel like you can submit so that I can see, but if you feel like no no to submit so that i can see you can leave it but i wanted you to try to work on uh, number one up, up to number 10 so that you can practice and then see as to whether you can get some things from that particular exercise otherwise i thank you very much then the next topic we are going to start discussing the life table the life table and this life table topic it is going to be uh, i'm going to be using the the pollard as the as the best book uh, which can be used to to do the calculations uh, of life table i thank you very much we'll meet in the next session